Hello again. This is James in my little shop, which is uh, pretty much a mess right now. I have two or three projects going at one time. I'm taking a little break from uh, the chess set right now. Uh, part of the reason is because I broke a bandsaw blade and uh, to cut the knights I need a 3 16 blade on that bandsaw. So one's being shipped, but I have other projects going on and today we're going to try to make a stool, uh, one that's about 14 inches tall, that uh, my family can use when we play games at the coffee table. It'll store under the coffee table. I'm trying to make it out of pine that uh, uh, we felled in our yard, I think five or six years ago. So uh, let me show you what I got. So this is a piece of uh, ponderosa pine, uh, pretty badly checked. Um, but I cut it out of a slab uh, of log with a chainsaw the other day. And uh, I don't know if you can see the circle. We're going to cut out a circle on the top of the bandsaw. Or the bandsaw. And then I'm going to, with my hand planer, uh, try and thickness this down to about two inches. After which we're going to peel uh, aspen logs, which is why the shop is such a mess. We'll put a tenon on them, we'll put a mortise in the chair, three of them, and make a three-legged stool, uh, and we'll see how this goes. Now we're going to try to uh, uh, get a little bit of a flat enough surface that I can put it through my planer and, and surface it down to uh, two inches. But right now it's nowhere near flat enough. So we'll see what this can do here. I think it's flat enough that I can run this through the planer. Okay, the, uh, the legs for the stool are going to be made out of aspen, and this is a, about a two and a half diameter down to about, I don't know, four inch diameter aspen log that I'm going to uh, put into the jig that I made. It's kind of a clamp that I use for peeling, so we'll be putting it in there. clamp it to the table saw only because it's the heaviest thing in the shop and I can't drag it around otherwise I've tried other ways of peeling these and uh, always seem to drag it around so we'll start um, up here and I've just sharpened my draw knife so it should work fairly easily. 
and take all the bark off. We'll rough sand it later. I made a triple bunk bed out of Aspen Logs last year for my grandkids. If you'd like to see a video of that, that's on my YouTube channel. have to go through the seat about an inch so I need at least 16 inch pieces so that's 16 32 48 so we're gonna have to peel a little bit more uh, in order to get all the pieces that I want but in the meantime we're going to put a, a tenon on the end of this and then we'll drill a one inch mortise through the seat that this will fit into and we'll show you how to do that. So this is a uh, tool that puts a, it's like a giant pencil sharpener that puts the right 45 degree angle on the shoulder of this log and gives me a one inch uh, in diameter tenon at the end. You'll see in just a moment. So that's what we end up with. Um, to put in perspective, I'll show you my hand. This is enough to go through the seat and we'll, we'll cut a notch in it and put a wedge, uh, glue a wedge into it um, when it comes time to attach the legs to the seat. But right now, we'll cut this off and do the next leg. Leg number one. incredibly difficult but it's difficult for me to tilt the table and get it back 
back to perfect 90 degrees. So, uh, and, and instead of doing that, what I've decided to do is I've clamped these two pieces of wood that make it a 12 degree angle. Uh, so I can drill my hole here. to put a 45 degree angle into those mortises to match the 45 degree angle on the shoulder and that's what this bit does. So we'll check that in. sink for the shoulders. science you just want a big enough gluing surface with that shoulder the legs into these uh, mortises. Now you can see how tightly and how much more gluing area I will have because I recessed that by, by uh, countersinking that tenon. Uh, that gave me much more glue surface so this will be a lot tighter joint. So why it's practically level already. So what we will do is cut slots in, the, in, in this tenon all the way down to the shoulder and when it comes time for glue up we will drive hardwood wedges into those slots that will help expand the joint and uh, keep it from ever coming apart so we don't need stringers uh, but this will be uh, a handy little stool um, to play games around the coffee table um, like I said, I'm going to take an edge off of this. I'm going to recess this to make it comfortable for this for your butt here. Take about a quarter of an inch and a scoop out of the middle. Then we'll sand the legs. We'll cut these flat across the bottom so that it sits right and uh, do some finish. But I'll, I'll have you back when it's time to uh, get past the boring stuff. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, scoop this out a little bit. sanding sealer on this, let it dry overnight and then sand it again. But we don't want to make it too perfect because uh, we're in Colorado, it's supposed to be like a rustic stool. So we're going to do some light sanding on these.
All right. I like to leave a few of the draw knife marks in it. It helps with the hand-hewn look. It's a rustic look that we're after. So I don't want to make this perfect. Just enough to take off darker bark. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but there are definitely draw knife marks in that leg. We'll finish up with the other two. Okay, so uh, I will be putting, after I clean up a little, I'm going to be putting a coat of sanding sealer on all of this, let it set up overnight, and then we'll be back to light sand and uh, do final assembly tomorrow. So, see ya. Okay, well we're back. And today, we're going to do a little bit of light sanding by hand on the seat. We're going to uh, lightly sand the legs. And then we're going to dry fit everything, orient it, and see uh, what we have to do to cut and level it. So, uh, I'll probably speed this part up for you too, but here we go. to these tenons and when we place them in the chair I'd like to have the slots going opposite the grain so that if we do put a, a lot of pressure on it we won't it'll be in opposite direction so we don't have a chance to split the uh, split the seat just a little trick level as it sits so I'm going to be putting shims underneath the legs Nice level stool. 
as I take these out, I want to put three dots in that hole for leg number three. the glue pretty thick. <laughs> so I will speed this up so you don't have to be tortured. to where they were, like that. And then to clamp it, to get some gription on there, I put a board across here clamp it to the table saw with some down pressure on it.
Okay, so that's solid. So now all we have to do is get some glue into these slots. And I, I don't mind the, the squeeze out of the glue because that's all going to be sanded after we cut the ends of the tenons off. So glue is not one of my concerns right now. And I have a piece of maple that I cut wedges out of. So, here's the final before uh, for glue up. Um, it's level, it's at 14 inches, and uh, it's going to be great. Well, here's the finished stool with one coat of gloss water based poly on it. I will be lightly sanding between coats and will. Uh, probably end up putting three or four coats on it but it's gonna be a nice addition this is the coffee table that my grandchildren and and the rest of us play games in front of the fireplace so these will easily store right under the right under the coffee table to get them out of the way so that's our project for for right now um, I'm going to make two more, maybe three more, and uh, we hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you click on like and click on subscribe, we'll all be happy, and we'll see you for the next project. Thanks for watching. Bye.